Yes, oh, welcome back again here in CPA Dreams. I'm your CPA Dreams coach, Jonathan Ruiz. Of course, no, bago tayo pumunta sa ating main agenda today, I really want to uh, congratulate no, Heidi Lindias for winning Tokyo Olympics with gold medal, our, our first in the history of uh, Olympics na ang Pilipino is nag-shine talaga. So congratulations. And I want to encourage you as well, those CPA aspirants, I really believe that you can become a certified public accountant. No? Kasi nga, uh, it's not an overnight success. So Heidi Lynn Villas, uh, do it consistently. No? Practice, trials, hardships, weightlifting at early age. You know, it took her 13 years no, para talaga uh, ma-achieve yung ganitong level of success. Okay? Can you imagine in 2008, he is second, she is second to the last. Okay? And in 2012, she did not even finish. Okay? And then in 2016 in Rio, okay, so she got her silver medal. Okay, so after the silver medal, now it's time to reap the harvest. No, okay, to reap the fruits and do the harvest. This year, 2021, is a gold medal. Okay, and how much, no, how much money she received from it? Okay, so ang laki laki talaga. Can you imagine the 30 million pesos given to her by the government? Okay, so what about you? What do you think? If you are a certified public accountant, kaya mo rin bang i-earn yung 30 million pesos na yan? Okay, so for the purposes of this uh, FB Live session natin, I, I made a calculation actually. You know? uh, siguro, of course, uh, uh, don't take it as it is, okay? Pero ito is parang idea ko lang, okay? If you are going to become a certified public accountant. But of course, figures uh, can change depending on your promotions, depending on your uh, performance at your work. Okay, so heto ang calculations natin. Kasi as a certified public accountant, kaya natin yung kitain in, in long time, okay, pwedeng years, okay, kung ikaw ay employee, okay, kaya din natin yan. Kung ikaw naman ay magbe-business, probably uh, mas mabilis, okay, may chance na mas mabilis, mga kapatid, ang ating chance to earn that good amount of money. Okay, pero let's see, kung ikaw ay ah, magiging certified public accountant by this year, October, okay, paano natin i-earn ang 30 million pesos? Okay, so let's try to look at it. Okay, so 35,000, let's say you become a certified public accountant and then 12 months in a year, in two years time, you will have earned 840,000. Pero let's say on the third year, you got promoted and you got an increase of 50,000. So then in the next three years, you earned 1,200,000. Okay? Papaano naman? No? Kung after three years ulit, na-promote ka ulit, nag-70,000 ka na. Okay? So ngayon, in the next five years, consistently, you are earning, you are earning that amount. 4,200,000. Okay, let's say, yung position mo is going up, no? From accounting supervisor to the financial manager, financial controller, and then hanggang sa ma-achieve mo ang CFO level. Okay? So, baka maliit pa tong number na binigay ko na 150,000. Okay? In the next 10 years, of course, no, meron talagang malaki ang kita ko. I, I can still remember when I was in Norway. I'm earning 250,000 pesos a month. No? We could convert natin sa Philippine peso. So, I don't know the standard in the Philippines right now. So, I'm just quoting a number here. Okay? So, 150,000 and then you keep working for the next 10 years. So, you will have 18 million pesos earned. Okay, so that means for 25 years, you can earn even more than 30 million pesos as a certified public accountant. 
Okay, so this is an encouragement. Of course, these numbers can be changed depending on your performance, depending on your country. Okay, that where you work, no? Kasi yung mga CPAs and uh, mga higher uh, positions, no? Na especially kung ikaw ay abroad. Okay, so I can tell you that these amounts are can be doubled. Okay, so that means instead of getting it in 25 years, you can have it in 15 years, you can have it in 10 years. Also, depending on the uh, the, the job that you are doing, probably, okay? So there are so many things and so many opportunities for CPAs out there, okay? So we need just to get out of our box or our comfort zone, okay? So please, please, I really believe that you can have that 30 million pesos as well, okay? But of course, being a certified public accountant, it's not all about money. It's about fulfillment. Okay, kasi nga, if you can imagine, there are so many uh, winners of lotos, no, na they, they won 100 million pesos and then after that they lose it. Even celebrity, na they earned a lot of money during the early days and then they become bankrupt. Okay, so marami pong ganong story, rugs to riches and then riches to rugs. You know, but the benefits of being an accountant you know, the learning of, uh, you know, in terms of finances, no, mas may advantage tayo na mag-grow yung money natin or ma-manage natin properly yung ating personal finance. If not, then maybe this is the right time for you to learn financial literacy, okay, or personal finance. Okay, so yan yung mga kailangan nating gawin o gawa kailangan nating pag-aralan. Okay, now, Bago ako pumunta sa sessions natin no, na investments or financial instruments, okay, of course, if you are attending the three-part video training series, I know you are enjoying it, okay? I hope you watched already our third video. So you have learned about my CPA journey. So I've been to so many struggles in life and moved from country to country. And then now I'm doing this uh, as a mission to uh, inspire many CPA aspirants, BSA students to really achieve their unfinished CPA dreams. Okay, and as you know as well, okay, let me segue na rin yung promotions ko, okay, for CPA dreams. Kasi nga, as you know, I'm opening an enrollment again for our CIPALET test banks and handouts, okay? So this is the last time that I'm going to offer this, okay, na lifetime yung access, okay? Ulitin ko lang, this will be the last time. And then uh, after that, uh, this will be six months, six months period na lang. This is the test banks and handouts na how I wish already existed during my CPA journey. Kasi there are already summarized notes, discussion questions, multiple choice theories. Uh, there is also uh, some video recordings. And of course, you are able to have a VIP seat on my FB Live sessions, live webinars. So those are, you know, mga perks and benefits na makukuha mo. Especially if you are a self-review or you are doing a review and you are feeling like maybe kailangan ko pa ng materials, okay? Instead of grabbing yung mga nag-share about their materials sa Google Drive, no? I think this one will be more comprehensive and hindi ka mau overwhelm okay? And there are always updates. Meron din tayong quizzes dyan with solutions, okay? And for those that are going to enroll, Okay, I'm giving an added bonus. Okay, so meron tayong final pre-board for all subjects. Okay, meron na tayong video for financial accounting and reporting and tax. And once again, this is a lifetime access for the last batch. Okay, there are more than already 50 students who got this uh, Cipalit test box and handouts from the time I created this, okay? And there are so many that are still grabbing it, okay? And this is one important. 
Uh, if you become a certified public accountant, you will have a one-on-one -on -one career planning sessions with me. Okay, so that you won't be able to make the mistakes. Okay, kasi yun yung mistakes din ng mga accountants natin. Okay, they really don't know which practice they are going to get in or which specialty. Hanggang sa nagpalipat-lipat na lang ng work ang ating mga accountant eh, hindi nila nakita kung saan talaga sila dapat pumwesto. Okay? Ano yung talagang position for you to grow? Not just on your career, okay? But also financially, okay? Na you will earn that 30 million pesos in the next years of your life. Okay? So, uh, we need to embrace it. Okay, but again, this is a little bit challenging for everyone because of COVID-19 pandemic. No? So I decided actually instead of increasing the price, okay, so still this is on a discount. So 2,500 pesos only. Okay, so you can do GCash transfer or through my bank account. And then we will give you the access after 24 hours. Okay, so hopefully you grab it. Okay, makakatulong yan. Or if you have any families and friends, please do share it. Okay, so para matulungan mo rin ako in my mission to help uh, many CPA aspirants and then CPA self-review uh, aspi aspirants. No? Sana talaga makatulong ito sa kanila. Okay, so please share this video, share this lesson to them. Okay, now... Uh, our topic is financial instruments. So I divided it actually probably with three parts. Okay? Ang session na to is, uh, kwan lang, we will focus on the theories. Okay? So theories muna tayo and then uh, mag-answer tayo ng multiple choice questions. Okay? Kasi nga, uh, instead of jumping sa problems, then it's better to get the concepts first. Okay, so yan yung strategy natin dito sa CPA Dreams. And of course, uh, siguro konting strategy on how to answer multiple choice theories. Okay, kasi etong PowerPoint natin is nakasummarize na siya. And then, kung nakasummarize na siya, that means when you are answering theories, madali na lang din siya. Okay, so hopefully, kayang-kaya mo na rin tong gawin. Okay? And, of course, ito siguro yung isang topic na laging nag appear sa FAR and then ganun din sa auditing problems. Okay? And then, actually, medyo related din to kasi this topic will be about investment as well. So, if you are planning to grow your money, okay, not as a corporation, probably not as a company, but as an individual, you need to know paano ka ba mag invest Ano yung mga instruments na you can have okay, para mag-grow yung pera mo? Okay? So siguro it, kunin natin yung pinaka-lighter uh, concepts no, na pwede natin i-apply sa ating uh, journey to CPA drinks. No? Okay? Siguro dalian lang natin yung mga explanations. Okay? So hopefully... Uh, you will be able to learn from this. Ako talaga kasi this is my goal for you is uh, to really learn. Okay? To really learn from this discussion. Okay? So let's move on. Ano bang ating agenda or ang ating outcome, ang ating learning outcome in this session? Okay? So I will define financial instrument. Okay? Diyan papasok yung financial asset and financial liability. Okay, so we will check it. Ano bang financial instrument? Ano ba yung financial asset and financial liability na yan? Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng definitions and uh, multiple choice theories. Okay, mag-answer tayo. Para uh, kasi sa far, okay, tatandaan kasi meron 35 theories and then 35 problems sa actual si Pale. Okay, now let's move on. So what is a financial instrument? Okay, so this is actually financial instrument is a contract. Okay, na pwedeng mag-arise both as financial asset of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another entity. 
Ang ibig sabihin pala nito, ang isang kumpanya is makaka-receive ng tatawagin niyang asset. Okay? And then, yung kumpanya na, na other party naman, sa side naman niya is, it is a liability or an equity instrument. Okay? Pinaganda natin, liability. Okay? para medyo kakaiba ng konti. Okay? Liability. Okay? And the term financial instrument, so in simplest term, okay, this encompasses financial asset financial liability and equity instrument. So ibig sabihin na hati pala siya sa tatlo. Pwede itong financial asset, pwede itong financial liability, and pwede itong equity instrument. So I will use my board no after showing you the PowerPoint para uh, mas makita natin yung division. Okay? Tandaan ang pinaka-importante kasi is the concepts behind it. Okay, hindi pwedeng i-memorize lang kung ano yung PAS 32. Kailangan na iintindahan mo kung ano yan. Okay? Dito ang point of view natin is tayo ang investor. Okay? Kasi pagka nagpunta naman tayo dun sa liability part, medyo related din to. Okay? Ang mangyayari naman dun sa side na yun is tayo ang issuer or tayo ang investee. Okay? So para wag, para mag, wag malito, papasok to sa asset and uh, current asset and non-current asset. Okay? Yun yung thinking natin dito sa session na to. Kasi dun sa liability part, tayo naman dun ang issuer or tayo naman ang may liability. This time, tayo ang may asset. Tayo ang nagpapautang. Tayo ang nag invest Okay? Now, characteristic naman. Sinabi dito, there must be a contract. Okay, kung ibig sabihin, papasok ang loan, obligations, and contract. Okay, usually meron tayo dyan sinasign. Okay, yung both parties involved. Okay, now, the contract, like, like what we have said, ito yung pinaka-importante para mas maintindihan. Shall give rise to financial asset of one party and a financial liability or equity instrument of another party. Okay, so tatandaan niyan. So alam na natin ang definition. Okay, kasi nga anong tawag doon? Ano-ano uh, ba yung mga possibility na financial instrument? Is cash a financial instrument? Yes. Kasi nga ito ay uh, papasok sa financial asset. Okay, kasi yung holder or bearer, no? is financial asset niya yan. Sino may financial liability niya? Ang issuing government. Okay? Kaya nga nakakabili tayo ng kahit na anong pagkain or material things through cash. Okay? Pwede rin namang ang cash in the form of checks. Okay? Financial asset din yan. Kasi ang, ang, ang payee, ang payee dyan is tayo ang may asset Pagkatapos, sino naman ang may liability? Yung drawer or yung issuer? Paano naman kung yung cash mo nasa bank? Ang financial asset, nagahawak niyan yung depositor, sino ang may financial liability? Yung depository bank. Okay? Paano naman? Straight accounts or trade receivables are a financial instrument? Yes. And it is a financial asset ng makakarate ng seller ng accounts. Okay? Yung nagbenta ng kanyang inventory, makakareceive siya from the customer or buyer which is financial liability naman niya. Okay? Notes and loans. Yes, this is also a financial instrument. Okay? So, punta tayo ngayon dun sa financial asset. Diretso na tayo para makapagbigay tayo ng mga example. Okay? Now, financial asset, ito yung definition natin dyan. A cash, a contractual right to receive cash or another financial asset from another entity. Okay, like for example, like what I have said, no? uh, nag-deposit tayo sa bank ng cash natin. No? So financial asset natin yan. Pagdating naman sa bank, sa recording nila, financial liability nila yan sa atin. Okay, so there is a contractual right. Okay, yung word na contractual right, yan yung keyword natin dyan. 
to exchange financial instruments with another entity under conditions that are potentially favorable. Bakit sinabi natin yung cash in the bank na dineposit natin as a financial asset and sinabi dito favorable condition. Why? Kasi pag nag-deposit ka sa bank, meron kang marireceive na interest kahit maliit pa yan na percentage. Okay, so ibig sabihin favorable sa ating nag-deposit no ng cash na yan. Okay, kaya yan yung definition ng financial asset. O, an example, yung option to purchase shares of another entity at less than market price. Okay, so meron tayong purchase right no, na mag-purchase ng isang shares na mas mababa sa current market price. Okay, ito yung tinatawag na secondary offering. Okay, or pwede rin yung private placement. Okay, equity instrument of another entity. Ibig sabihin pala actually dalawa yung papasok diyan sa financial asset na yan. Merong tatawaging debt instruments and merong tatawaging equity instruments. Okay, I will dig deeper, I will show you on 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 the board ah uh, papaano yung ating division. Papaano yung sa investor, papaano yung sa investee. Okay, let me just give you the concepts with this definitions no kung ano yung definitions na binigay sa PAS 32 okay now punta naman tayo sa financial liability i will give also the examples later on the board financial liability ito yung any liability that is a contractual obligation to deliver cash or other financial asset okay or other financial asset to another entity Okay, ibig sabihin naman, eto naman ay merong liability na kailangang i-deliver. Okay, eto ang common examples nito is yung accounts payable, yung notes payable, yung loans payable, yung bonds payable. Okay, kasi nga, dito is exchange financial instruments with another entity under conditions that are potentially unfavorable. Okay? So tayo naman ang magbabayad. Tayo naman ang maglalabas ng pera. And probably magbabayad tayo ng interest dyan sa mga notes and loans na, na payables na yan. Okay? Kaya sinasabi dyan sa definition na it is potentially unfavorable. Okay? So ngayon, alam mo na uh, sa financial asset pala, yun yung favorable conditions. Yung palang financial liability yung pala yung unfavorable conditions. Okay? So, let me give you the last definition bago tayo magpunta sa ating uh, multiple choice questions and to show you on the board yung ating uh, explanation pa and uh, examples. Okay? Now, meron din kasing tinatawag na perpetual debt instrument. Okay, baka kasi mapasama sa tanong. Okay, this is an instrument that provides the holder with a contractual right to receive payments on account of interest or fixed dates. Okay, meron naman yung perpetual debt instrument na for indefinite future, meron kang right, okay, na makareceive ng interest. Okay, meron din mga ganyang uh, agreements, okay, or financial asset. Okay? Now, punta tayo dun sa recognition. Okay? Kasi sa PFRS 9, paragraph 311, no? Kailangan kasi i-recognize ang financial or asset or financial liability saan? Sa statement of financial position or sa balance sheet. Okay? When, okay? When and only when the entity becomes a party to the contractual provisions of the instrument. Okay, kasi nga binanggit natin it is a contractual right. Okay, so ibig sabihin dahil to ay contract, merong mga provisions and requirements na kailangan nating mamit as part of that contract. Okay, so nire-recognize natin yung ating rights and obligations na mag arise kung financial asset yan or financial liability yan. Okay, so madali lang, di ba? Madaling, madaling intindihin. Okay. Now, paano natin siya i-disclose? Okay. So, meron disclosure din. 
Okay, na kailangan gawin. Kung ito ay very significant, yung financial instruments, para sa ating financial position and financial performance, then we need to have a disclosure. Later kasi, i-discuss natin yung financial um, asset at fair value through profit or loss, financial asset at fair value through OCI, and then fair uh, financial asset at amortized cost. So magkakaroon tayo ng mga dis discussions about that in the next uh, sessions natin or live webinar. Now, an entity is required to disclose. Okay, ito tatandaan tong three uh, points na to. The exposure to risk and how they arise. Okay, ano yung mga potential risk? Okay, laging merong risk kung ikaw ay mag invest di ba? So, pwede kang makover sa interest rate risk. Pwede kang magkaroon ng problema sa market risk, political risk. Okay, so merong attached risk ang isang investor. Ganon din sa reality ng buhay. Okay, kung ikaw ay naliligaw, okay, merong risk na mabasted ka. So yung financial instrument, okay, yung mga investments na ginagawa natin, that means may possibility kapatid na ikaw ay mag-loss or mag-gains. Okay? Now, B, the entity's objective, policy and process for managing the risk and its method of measuring the risk. Okay? Kailangan din natin i-disclose yung qualitative information na yan. Okay? And then lastly, any change from the previous period in the entity's exposure to risk, its objective, policy, and processes for managing and measuring the risk. Okay? Lagi yung nagbabago. Kasi nga, di ba, uh, very uncertain, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, nagbabago yung mga attached risk. Okay? And we need to have a disclosure on that. Kaya kung mapapansin mo din, meron mga unrealized gains and losses. Depende yan. Kasi paggalaw-galaw ang ating market. Okay? Kung yan ay is invested on a quoted uh, market or may quoted price yan sa market. Okay? So, our next will be the multiple choice questions. But before that, Okay, let me just explain kung paano talaga yung investor, ano ba yung papasok dun sa financial assets natin, ano yung papasok sa financial liability bago tayo pumunta sa ating multiple choice questions theories. So if you are still there, if you are enjoying it, can I ask, comment CPA Dreams, please. Just comment CPA Dreams while I'm preparing my board. Okay, so can you just comment si P.A. Grimms, mga kapatid? Okay, para naman malaman ko na you are there. Okay? Okay, so this is the, uh, how can I say it? Our classification of financial asset and financial liability. Okay, so gawin natin siya on the board. No? Ito yung side ni investor. Okay. Dito naman yung side ni investee. Okay? Or yung tinatawag nating issuer. Okay? Para kasi mas madali nating maintindihan. Okay? Kasi nga, di ba, under Kuikawai Investor, meron kang financial assets. Okay? Kasi nga, two parties, di ba? And a contractual right. So may financial assets si investor. Meron namang financial liability si investee or si issuer. Okay? Kasi nga nagbigay tayo ng pera sa investee. Tayo ay mayaman. Kaya nag tayo ay nag invest Okay? Sa mga companies. Okay? Kung tayo company, then company to company. Corporate to corporate. Okay? Now, ito is investor or creditor. Okay? Or holder. Okay, ganyan yon. Okay, dito sa financial assets natin or yung financial instruments na under financial assets, no, meron tatawagin diyan debt instruments. Okay, kaya nga tinawag na financial instruments. Okay? Dito is meron tayong debt instruments and then meron din tayong tatawagin equity instruments. So, anong mga sample ng mga instruments na yan? 
Okay, sige, isa-isahe muna natin bago tayo pumunta dito. Ano naman ang side nito? Okay, now, sa debt instruments, dyan papasok yung accounts receivable kasi nagbenta ka. Okay, meron kang marireceive na, na cash okay, sa buyer or customer mo. So it's considered as debt instruments. Dito rin, pwede rin dito notes receivable. Okay? Dito es meron ding loans receivable. Okay? Dito rin papasok yung investment in bonds. Okay? Ito is, i-discuss natin yan. Balikan natin. I-refresh natin ang investment in bonds. Sa equity instruments naman, ibig sabihin naman dito sa equity instruments, we are a holder of stocks. Okay? Di ba? Merong different share capital. Okay, diyan papasok yung common stock or preference stock. Okay, tayo naman ang holder nito, hindi tayo ang issuer. Ibig sabihin, kaya yan is investment. Natatandaan yung topic sa investments, investment in associates. Okay, babalikan natin, i-refresh ire natin yung mga significant influence na yan, control, no? And then dito rin papasok yung investment in subsidiaries. Okay? Diyan yan nagpo-fall. Okay? Kaya pagdating sa multiple choice questions, at least, alam mo yan sa theories na yan pala yung ibig sabihin. Baka ka rin kasi itanong, which of the following is not a debt instrument? Which is not an equity instrument? So, ang meron ka na, alam mo na kagad yan. Okay? Makikita mo, napakadali lang no theory questions natin today. Okay? Now, dun sa invested, Okay, sa investi naman, issuer or the financial liability. Dito is papasok yung accounts payable. Papasok yung notes payable. Yung kabaliktara naman niya, yung opposite side. Kasi sila naman ang may liability ngayon. Okay, dito rin papasok yung loans payable, yung bonds payable. Okay, lahat yan tinakel din sa financial accounting and reporting CPA Dreams Coach sessions natin. Okay, so some of these videos na natatakal natin, just look up the YouTube channel. Okay, yung personal YouTube channel ko, Jonathan Ilagan Ruiz. So just search it, okay, and look for those topics na hindi ka naka-attend sa sessions. Okay, now, equity. Sa equity naman, meron din palang equity dito. Yes, kasi sila yung nag-issue. Ano yung initial nila? Yun naman is yung ordinary share. Okay? And preference share. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sila ang issuer. Okay? Nag-issue sila at tayo ang nag-invest. Okay? So, wag malilito. So, ito yung financial liability side. Ito yung financial asset side. Okay? So, yan yung cover ng financial instrument. Okay, and then later magdi-discuss tayo about investments. Okay, so now let's go on the multiple choice theories natin. Sagutan natin yon. Okay, kasi pag alam mo na yon, okay, madali na yon. Okay, to be honest with you, kaya ng kaya mo na yon. Okay, so balikan na natin ang ating theory multiple choice questions. Okay, let me hide yung video ko ha para hindi hindi niyo na ako makita. Okay? Pero makita niyo yung aking PowerPoint. Okay? Please, can you comment CPA Dreams if you are still here? Okay? So, thank you so much. Okay? So, let's discuss yung theory multiple choice questions natin. Now, question number one. It is any contract. Okay? It is any contract from the question itself, any contract that gives rise to both. Okay? So both the financial asset of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another entity, walang ka-challenge, challenge. Financial instrument. Next, which of the following should be classified as financial instruments? May nabanggit ba ako kaninang inventory? Wala. May nabanggit ba akong land and building? Wala. Meron ba akong nabanggit na patents? Wala. So the answer is dog. Trade accounts receivable. Next, which of the following is not? 
Okay, huwag man ito is not a financial instrument. Okay, lumabas na ang answer. Okay, na-mention ko kanina, cash deposited in the bank, ordinary share capital, perpetual debt instrument. Okay, then ang the answer is gold bullion deposited in the bank. Gold bullion is commodity. Okay, so commodities market. And then personally, I'm working with a company right now in this industry, gold industry. Okay, next, which of the following is not? Okay, kaya nga sabi ko, pag alam mo na kanina yung lahat yung ginawa ko sa board na classification ng financial instruments, madali na siyang sagutin. Okay, ang answer here is warranty. Okay, warranty provision. Okay, next, a financial asset is any of the following. Okay, from the word itself, except. Okay, alin ang naiba? Okay, huwag magkakamali, no? Kasi iyan yung mga uh, nagpapahirap minsan sa estudyante, pero madali lang naman talaga. Except, alin yung hindi dyan nating na-discuss kanina? Okay, so madali lang. Okay, basahin natin cash, of course, an equity instrument of another entity. Okay, a contractual right to receive cash for another financial asset from another entity. Yes, a contractual right to exchange financial instruments with another entity under conditions that are potentially unfavorable. Ah, so ang ibig sabihin is financial liability siya. So, yan yung answer dog. Okay? A financial liability. Okay, related from the previous question. So, hanapin mo na lang ano yung at sinasabi natin dapat unfavorable yung condition. Okay? Pero basahin natin kasi mukhang wala yung unfavorable condition. Ito is potentially favorable. So, hindi yan. Kasi financial asset yan. Hindi yan liability a contractual obligation to deliver cash or another financial asset to another entity. Okay, siguro nakalimutan lang ilagay dito under conditions that are potentially unfavorable. So, ang sagot dapat dito is C. Okay, hindi niya lang sinama to. Okay, pero siya yung pinakamalapit. Okay, the best answer lagi sa multiple choice questions, especially sa theories. Okay? So, minsan, kailangan mo mag-analyze kung tama o mali yung ginawa mo. Okay, next. A preference share that provides for a mandatory redemption on a specific date at the option of the holder is? Okay, ano yan? Of course, the answer is financial liability. Okay, next. What is the principle of the recognition of a financial asset or financial liability? Okay, at is diniskas ko, di ba? So nasa nasa PowerPoint natin yun. So the answer jan is financial asset is recognized when and only when the entity becomes party to the contractual provisions. Of the instrument. So, andali dali, letter A agad. Okay? Okay, so for the next part, okay, so, sa susunod nating mga discussion, okay, sa susunod nating discussion, uh, we'll go on financial assets at fair value. Okay, so binigay ko lang muna yung introduction. So, consider it as an introduction of financial instruments. And then we'll go on to financial assets at fair value, financial assets at OCI, okay, financial assets through profit or loss. Okay, yun yung mga susunod na discussions. Kasi dyan nahihirapan yung mga students, sakop yan ng auditing problems, sakop yan ng financial accounting and reporting, and then magagamit mo yan even for your own personal investing journey or personal finance. Okay, so hopefully, again, hopefully I was able to share with you uh, this inspiring story of Heidi Lindeyas. Okay, this session about financial instruments. And again, I remind lang kita, this is the last time that we offer Cipale Test Banks and Handouts for lifetime. Okay, lifetime access until you become a certified public accountant. Meaning, pwede mo siyang balikan anytime and all updates we are doing inside. Okay, so 
Hope to see you inside. Again, I'm opening this uh, enrollment only this coming week. And then after that, I will close it again and relaunch it in October for the batch May 2022. Okay, so abangan nyo. Okay, maraming surprises akong ibibigay dun sa mga mag-drop. Okay, so once again, have a great weekend. Enjoy your time with your family. Okay, even this pandemic, I think the world is thriving. There are uh, good things that is happening around. Okay, so mabuhay po kayo. Thank you so much for those watching this live on Facebook, on Zoom. Maraming maraming salamat po. And please do share it. Okay, so mabuhay po kayo. Once again, Jonathan Ruiz, your CPA Dreams Coach.